today I am going to be doing this Egyptian look for you guys and um, I think this is pretty cool um, I did the eye out um, Egyptians literally like when they would write inside the pyramids I think they um, had this type of symbol in their pyramids so I thought it was it was gonna be super cool to recreate this look um, I really like it I think it's a good Halloween tutorial so if you guys so if you guys want to know how to recreate this look then keep on watching so to start off I am going to start with the Urban Decay quick fix next I'm going to take my no pore blend primer okay so next I'm gonna be doing foundation and I'm gonna be mixing the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Okay guys, so next I'm going to be doing uh, bronzer and this is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Okay guys, so for my under eyes, I like to use the NARS concealer and then for my face, I like using the Fenty concealer. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna do setting spray and this is the Laura Mercier setting spray. While that bakes, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte um, Party blush just because it's a little bit darker than the blush I normally use. Okay guys, so on to the makeup. I feel like this is going to be like one of the hardest parts because their makeup is so like exaggerated. But let's go for it. So I'm just going to be putting um, gold on my eye whole eyelid and um i'm gonna try and make this like as as exaggerated as i can because if you look at pictures like there's these drawings and their makeup was kind of exaggerated but anyway i'm gonna go in with a straight gold shadow and this is primavera from anastasia beverly hills uh the modern renaissance palette you guys already know this is my favorite palette as you guys could tell, it's all messed up, but I'm still I'm still using it. But I'm just going to go straight into my uh, lid, and then I'm going to try to create that kind of like effect that they have going on. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this eyeliner, and this is from Hard Candy. Okay, so that wasn't really uh, working out because the tip is a little bit too fragile um, for what I'm doing. Probably for your waterline, it's um, a little bit better. But I'm going to be taking Nefertiti. I don't know, this color right here. I'm going to be taking that gold color and I'm going to see if that one gives me more of like a pop. Okay, so now I am going to put this kind of teal brownish color in my lower uh, lash line. Okay, 
Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna go in with more gold and I'm gonna take it out a little bit more. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner. By the way, look at my snake. Isn't this cool? It's a little bit like off. But it's like so cool because it's snake. I'm gonna add some eyeliner in my waterline. I know they didn't have like gold lipstick back then and most of the women wore um, red lipstick but I just think that gold lipstick would go so much more better with this look. Okay guys, so you can't forget the highlight and for this I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and this is the one in Sun Dipped. So I want it to be like more of a goldy type of thing. Oh wow guys, I totally forgot to add eyeliner on one side. But guys, you guys can't forget about the accessories to make this look complete. So for my shirt, I'm just wearing a white shirt um, because I I was looking at most of their um, up Egyptian ladies pictures. And most of them had like some dresses that went like this and they were just flowy. But of course, I didn't have any of those dresses so... I had to work with what I had and um, this is optional but you guys can get this um, snake type of jewelry and then I also bought this I'm just so extra guys but I also bought this um, it's like this yeah I feel like Egyptians were like big on like um, bling and all that type of stuff and then I also have this necklace i seen this necklace um, in quite a different stores, but I actually got this from my mom. Well, you know, she's letting me borrow it, but my mom actually had this necklace. I was like, damn, lady, are you some sort of Egyptian? Were you some sort of Egyptian back then? Um, so I definitely recommend you guys to go um, before you buy anything. Um, 
Okay guys, so I finally got the necklace on and this is my mom's, um, it's from a long time ago. She used to sell gold, so um, that's why she has a lot of different um, types of necklaces and stuff like that. But anyway, um, before you guys do any type of tutorial, I would recommend you guys to definitely um, ask your siblings, your moms, your, your parents, your friends if they have anything that you could use related to it because it's gonna definitely save you some money like for this necklace i saved myself some money and i'm so glad i didn't buy the necklace at the store because i literally found this in my mom's room and i was super excited about that but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss my next Halloween tutorial. I got a lot of them planned for you guys. Um, lots of videos coming for you guys. And don't forget to also hit that like button because it really helps out a lot. Also comment down below if you guys have any video ideas for Halloween makeup tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.